Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Lunch and Learn for the month. Um, today's topic for the month of March is sleep awareness. And I uh, want to thank you for joining me today to get a little bit more information on how to get a better night's sleep. Um, I'm going to do a screen share here and let's see, there we go. So March is sleep awareness month. And, you know, I'm sure you've heard over and over again, how important sleep really is. And it, it is so important to get a good night's sleep. I want to introduce myself for those of you that do not know me. My name is Tamara Weinstein. I am a doctor of physical therapy and a board certified clinical nutritionist. I have been in practice for quite a number of years, about 26, 27 years almost now. And I have been teaching um, at New York Medical College as an adjunct professor there for a number of years. I have had the pleasure of working with Market America and specifically the Nutrimetrics division of this company uh, for about 15 years now. So I'm a Nutrimetrics health professional and consultant. And I've had the honor of being out in the field, training and educating on both our Nutrimetrics division and our amazing health and nutrition products. And that's really how I got started with this company is because of the amazing products that we have to offer. And we're going to get into a little bit more on our topic of sleep. Before I do that, I have to, of course, share with you the FDA disclaimer, right? The statements in the presentation that I'm doing for you today have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. Market America's products are not intended to diagnose, cure, or prevent any diseases. We're talking about using supplements just for the reason to supplement our diet, right? To support our nutrition, to support our body. You know, I really am a believer that we need to do that, that it's not really a luxury, it's really a necessity. The world has caught up to our health. Generally speaking, you know, we're eating more unhealthy foods than ever before. We're going through those drive through windows. We need to stop, we need to plan a little better, right? And get some healthier foods. We're also more stressed than we've ever been before. And our environment just, you know, we can't control it, it from the air we breathe to the ground, our food, uh, grows in, you know, we're being bombarded from more toxins than ever before. Some things we have control over and some things don't, we don't, right? But in the interim, we need to make sure that we provide the body um, the necessities so that we could optimize our health. Now, when we're talking about supplements, you know, quality really matters, right? It is so important to have good quality supplements. And I have to tell you, it's one of the reasons that I came across this company, it was really because of the fact that the quality control was in place. It was because of the fact that our products are based on science, right? There is a tremendous commitment to quality here. This company gets the best ingredients from the best sources. The raw ingredients come with a certificate of analysis to assure the purity and the potency of those ingredients. And then they're checked. They're checked by independent laboratories. They're checked when they return to our warehouse. Um, we have fantastic quality control systems in place to check the standards of our ingredients. Our manufacturing plants are all what we refer to as GMP or they follow good manufacturing practice. And that's really important to make sure that we have the best quality products that we can bring to market. So all of our ingredients have scientific substantiation. And I can assure you that Market America does an amazing job to provide the best delivery systems in the world. You know, many of you are familiar with the fact that we have multiple delivery systems, Isotonics being our number one, right? And we have the patent on that. Um, but we have other delivery systems because depending on the ingredients that we have, the primary ingredients, they may be best delivered in the isotonic state or they may be best delivered in another type of a delivery system. For example, omega-3 fish oil, you see the salmon here on the picture, oil and water don't mix, right? So those need to be put into a, a soft gel. And we have other types of delivery systems depending on 
the ingredients. And so what that means is that the products that we're using here have enhanced bioavailability, right? The nutrients are available in a form that our body can recognize. And hopefully, depending on the health of our gut, we'll be able to absorb them efficiently, right? But they are being delivered with that bioavailability. That's really important because as we all know, the competition is fantastic. There are so many different companies and brands out there. And that's really why I want you to know what makes us different, what makes you different, having access to these amazing products that are truly backed by science, right? Best ingredients from the best sources, backed by clinical studies, um, you know, best in class truly. And so I want you to have that confidence that that quality control is all here and put into place for you by the company and by the amazing team that works behind the scenes here. All right, so we're gonna get into our topic of sleep for sleep month now, right? And sleep really truly does matter. Um, I don't know about you, but if I don't get a good night's sleep, I might be a little cranky. So do you feel overweight, sleepless, and a foul mood? Um, those that don't sleep, usually they tend to not feel so great. They tend to be a little cranky as they're trying to get through our day, right? Poor sleep is actually the number one complaint of both men and women. And I wanna add children here as well, because I know a lot of kids have a, a difficult time with sleeping, right? We're talking about falling asleep, staying asleep, or waking up and feeling refreshed and renewed, right? And sleep is truly necessary for survival. It's necessary for your nervous system to pro uh, function properly. It promotes brain function. It reduces breakdown of protein in cells. When we don't sleep, that coincides with the release of growth hormones. So it affects our hormones as well. And we're gonna talk about some other hormones that lack of sleep might affect or getting a good night's sleep might benefit, right? Human beings are the only species that deprive themselves of sleep for no apparent gain. You know, many people just stay up late. They're addicted to their devices or they're up late watching TV. And the statistics show that one out of every two Americans are trying to survive on six hours of sleep or less during the week. That's, you know, just not enough. Based on the evidence from over 100,000 studies, the number of people that can survive on five hours of sleep or less, that's without showing any impairment, is actually zero. There are consequences when we do not get enough sleep. You don't want to wait to do something. The decline of sleep, the slow wave sleep begins much earlier in life than most people would expect. So we can see losses that can occur as early as the late 20s. By the time a person reaches 50, they lost roughly half of their deep sleep. And by the time they're 80, those deep sleep brain waves, they're almost undetectable. So we don't wanna wait. If you don't get enough sleep at night, your body boosts its level of stress hormones. And even in a few days of impaired sleep, especially when we're talking of, of loss of the slow wave sleep, the deep sleep, we've shown to see a derange in metabolism. So it affects a, a, a lot of our body systems, including our metabolism and our hormones. And hunger hormones are no different. When we do not get enough sleep, we see that there's an increase in those hunger hormones. Those hunger hormones are called ghrelin. And when we see an increase in the hunger hormones, the, the uh, counter effect of that is we see a suppression in what we refer to as the feelful hormones or the leptin. So lack of sleep or not enough sleep increases those hum hunger hormones, decreases the feelful hormones. And guess what happens? We have issues with weight, right? We have issues maintaining or losing um, and that could be an effect of sleep because it affects these hormones. So getting a poor night's sleep means leptin levels will be even lower. Those that do not sleep well become progressively less and less, less leptin sensitive. And leptin is that hormone that tells our brain we're full and satiated. When ghrelin is high and leptin is low, we're looking for more food. And often the foods that we're looking for as a result are those unhealthier foods, those comfort foods. So getting a good night's sleep can help with the balance of these hormones as well. What about lifestyle? 
right? As I mentioned before, you know, many of us are addicted to our devices, right? We're laying in bed, we're on our phones, we're watching TV, or maybe we're, you know, jumping around, getting uh, overstimulated before bed, you know, the lights are on, maybe we've had too much caffeine, right? We're going to talk about caffeine in a moment and how it could affect our sleep at night. And maybe we're just stressed, overly stressed, and we're not doing a very good job managing that and taking care of that for our body. So it's really important that you turn both the lights and the temperature down at night. You want to lower the temperature at night because lowering the temperature actually improves the production of your sleep hormones and reduces phlegmatic sleep. So turn down those lights and turn down the temperature. I mentioned caffeine has that effect, right, on our ability to sleep. And I just want you to know that caffeine has a half life of six to seven hours. So, and a quarter life of 12. So what does that mean? That means if you have a cup of coffee around noon, you still have about a quarter of that caffeine still circulating around in your body at midnight. Now, some individuals are more sensitive to caffeine and other, than others. So you need to be aware of that fact that that caffeine stays in your body for quite a long time. Caffeine is thermogenic. It does increase the core body temperature, which makes you more alert. So remember I said, not only you're turning down the lights, but you're turning down the temperature because when your core body temperature cools off, it actually helps um, promote sleep. You want to remove the TV from your bedroom. Your bedroom should be for sleeping and for sex, right? The blue light from the TV, from the devices, it actually prevents that body temperature from dropping during the night. And again, lowering that body temperature is a key element in the body's progression into sleep. The blue light suppresses melatonin more than twice as long as other light waves and it alters the circadian rhythm. So you wanna get rid of those blue lights, the devices and the TVs. Pink light is actually the better option, especially in the evening. We wanna do some calming things in the evening, right? Maybe some relaxation techniques, maybe some deep breathing, maybe even some meditation. Hyperstimulation can affect your sleep. We see this often in children, you know, the television is on an average of seven hours and 40 minutes a day in most homes in the US. I happen to think that number is a little bit higher. You know, I, I constantly hear what Netflix series are you watching, right? Um, I think people are watching a little bit more than that on average. But the, the studies show that on average, kids ages six to 11 watch about 19 hours, almost 20 hours uh, um, of TV a week. 56% of children eight to 16 have a TV in their bedrooms. Again, just like for adults, uh, children should not have those devices in their rooms late at night, not when they're tempted to go on their devices and, and turn that TV on, right? So it's important to decrease that stimulation before we go to bed and maybe find some of those techniques that we can do to sort of calm down and relax the body. So norepinephrine is an excitatory hormone that tells our brain to keep us alert, focused, and awake. Serotonin, on the other hand, is a hormone that um, helps with mood and helps with relaxation. So we want to keep the imbalance, right? We want to keep the right amount of serotonin, which in turn can help produce sleep, while we want to decrease the norepinephrine, um, especially as the day goes on into evening, that norepinephrine can produce wakefulness. So our goal should be to consume foods and supplements and things like that that can change the balance of these signals so that we can decrease the norepinephrine or the excitatory hormone as the day goes on into evening. And we can increase that serotonin, which again, helps with relaxation and mood. It's really important. We need to make little steps each day to improve our overall health. But really, if you could do nothing else right now, getting a good night's sleep really is important and can make a difference. So I always recommend to people, you know, try and develop a routine. Try to go to bed the same time every day and wake up the same time every morning. When you get up in the morning, it's really great idea if you can get some bright sunlight because that helps to um, set you for the day, right? It helps adjust that circadian rhythm and get your body ready 
and going to start your day. So getting into routine is really important. We're gonna talk about some other things that we can do, but for everything else, there is supplementation, right? We have a number of things in our line that we are so lucky to have that can help support a good night's sleep. And we're gonna talk about some of these products. The first one being our Isotonics Magnesium. Now, magnesium promotes cognitive health, sleep quality, and healthy habits. Magnesium is one of those minerals that's so important to have in our daily routine. Many individuals tend to be deficient in magnesium, so it's really important that we replenish the body with those nutrients that we need, both through food, food supply, right? For, uh, food first and foremost, in my opinion, and then supplement where the needs be to fill in where the diet falls short and to support the body systems and optimize health. Magnesium is one of those um, minerals that we refer to as the universals because it, it really helps support so many different body systems, right? Not only the sleep pathways, but it supports many different pathways in our body. And it is responsible for over 300 enzymatic reactions in our body. So that's how important this mineral is. Now, magnesium aids in the, in the process of activating the parasympathetic nervous system. And that's the, really the system that is responsible for getting you to relax. Magnesium supports the synthesis of those neurotransmitters, not only serotonin that I mentioned, but also dopamine. And it sends signals throughout the nervous system and the brain. Magnesium promotes GABA. GABA actually encourages relaxation as well as sleep. When you have low levels of GABA in the body, it may make it more difficult to relax. So magnesium is one of those minerals that assists in supporting the body's stress response system, supports GABA, and is associated with mental, emotional well-being sleep and health. It is a, a significant mineral um, that assists in the production of the hormone melatonin, which guides that sleep-wake cycle in the body, right? Magnesium supplementation can help aid in the sleeping process because it actually helps get, get the production of magnesium, um, production of melatonin in the, the sleep pathway. And we're gonna talk about that and I have a slide that shows you that. So there are different types of magnesium that you can find on the market, but there are certain forms like magnesium citrate and magnesium glycinate. Those are considered some of the best sources because they are gentle on the stomach, right? Magnesium sometimes can cause some GI upset. So the citrates and the glycinates tend to be more gentle on the stomach, and they also tend to have a higher absorption potential. So I mentioned how amazing this company is in terms of its quality control in terms of its formulation and deciding which ingredients to use. That's why they've chosen the citrates and the glycinates and the isotonics magnesium. And this is a product that provides the body with 400 milligrams of magnesium. It repletes the magnesium that we are depleted in. It supports muscle health. Calcium and magnesium work together to support the musculoskeletal system. Magnesium also supports a healthy cardiovascular system and function, promotes bone health. It is ideal for diets lacking in dairy and dark green leafy vegetables. I personally prefer the dark green leafy vegetables over the dairy. That's my personal preference. Our isotonics magnesium is highly bioavailable because of those um, forms of magnesium that I just mentioned, the citrates and the glycinates. Um, and of course, it is coupled with our superior isotonic delivery system. So this is a great um, product to consider adding into your daily routine. It is one, in my opinion, that's one of the essentials of what we refer to as those new universal nutrients. The product is vegetarian. It contains no wheat, um, no soy, no yeast, no gluten, no artificial flavor, salt, preservatives, or milk in it. So now adaptogens are also part of the answer. Adaptogens are herbs that work synergistically in the body to help reduce the impact of stress. And we know that increased stress is one of the number one reasons why people have a difficult time falling asleep at night, right? Our head hits the pillow 
And then all of a sudden our brain starts racing, right? We're thinking about all these things and we can't shut it off. So adaptogens are a fantastic go-to. They have a normal uh, normalizing effect on the body. They don't cause imbalances in normal health. In fact, they restore balance in the body. And that is really key. So one of the first adaptogens that I wanted to talk about is L-theanine. And L-theanine is in a major amino acid. You often will find it in things like green tea, right? That people are very familiar with. And it is used historically for its relaxing effect. L-theanine also supports healthy levels of GABA. And we talked about the fact that we need more GABA to support relaxation and healthy emotions, especially from the stress we may feel throughout the day. L-theanine works with dopamine and serotonin to create a sense of what we refer to as alert calm, right? So it has a calming effect, but it, yet it doesn't make you sleepy at the same time. So it's an alert calm or a relaxation. So in addition to those calming qualities, L-theanine can help with relaxation, with focus, and with sleep. Now we find this ingredient L-theanine, this amino acid, in our Bliss Anti-Stress Formula. And that's the next product I wanted to share with you. Now, in addition to the L-theanine in our Bliss, we also find rhodiola, which is another adaptogen. And we also find ashwagandha. Rhodiola has the same effects as adaptogen to help with relaxation. And ashwagandha supports GABA activity, promoting that calming effect on the body which may help to balance out your mood. So rhodiola and ashwagandha, L-theanine, along with passionflower, bacopium maneri, and Siberian ginseng are all found. These are all the adaptogenic herbs or botanicals that are found in our bliss anti-stress formula. These things, the, the passionflower, the bacopa maneri, and the Siberian ginseng, they actually also work um, to help with um, cognitive support, uh, mental acuity, physical endurance, cognitive function, and, and causing a relaxation effect without impairing memory or motor skills. So these are um, a balance of uh, herbs or botanicals that are in this formula that really help promote relaxation without drowsiness, right? And that's important because some people will prefer to take it during the day, well, others will prefer to take it in the evening before they go to bed. It's really a personal preference, um, but it does help promote mental clarity. It helps the body adapt to stress, maintains healthy levels of both that serotonin, your feel-good happy hormone, and your dopamine. Now, these are high quality standardized botanical extracts from around the world that, again, we refer to as adaptogens because they help to bring that body to balance, to help deal with those stressful conditions. They help support the adrenal gland. That's why they promote healthy levels of cortisol. They help support the adrenal gland function, especially when the body is challenged by stress. So this is another great go-to product to consider taking along with our isotonics magnesium. So we're talking about a full spectrum hemp oil here, and that is exactly what we have in our line. By using all the parts of the hemp plant, we're providing multiple components, giving a full spectrum health benefit. And we do have that in our cannabiquin product. This is a full spectrum hemp oil. It has 6% um, phytocannabinoids, 170 milligrams per serving in this product. In addition, we also have thymoquin, which is a trademark black cumin seed found from the nigella stevia plant. Now, what I wanna make note of here is there's a very high concentration here. It's 3% thymoquinone or 500 milligrams per serving. So the thymoquin, the black cumin seed, along with the full spectrum hemp oil are both found in our cannabiquin. And that offers a clean and a sustainable source of full spectrum hemp oil containing the same phytocannabinoids and compounds found in the original hemp plant, along with the thymoquin, which also has fantastic antioxidant components. So cannabiquin supports memory, cognition, and attention. It helps balance emotions in stressful situations, which we've already discussed. We need to sort of 
Learn how to manage and balance, especially before our head hits the pillow at night. It promotes feelings of physical and mental com comfort, promotes feelings of calmness. Because it is the full spectrum of the hemp plant, it also may assist in managing gastric tone and comfort. Different parts of the plant have different effects on the body, whether it's helping um, with stress and calmness, or whether it's helping support gastric tone and comfort, or maintaining normal blood glucose, supporting healthy weight, supporting cellular health and function. And again, it also has the powerful antioxidant effects that help the body uh, manage those free radicals. Um, again, we're being bombarded. We don't have control over all of those. So we need to consider taking enough antioxidants um, in succinction to uh, balance out all the different toxins that we're being bombarded with from the outside and also those that our body generates from the inside, right? So is there anything else that we can think of in their line, you know, to achieve that natural sleep? The goal is to augment the, neural, the natural neurotransmitters to produce sleep and to normalize that circadian rhythm. So again, increase the things like GABA and the calming, increase the hormones like melatonin, decrease the norepinephrine, which causes more excitement and wakefulness. So when we're talking about serotonin, um, the synthesis or the production of serotonin is heavily dependent on the availability of tryptophan. Tryptophan is another amino acid. Um, we can, we can um, make some in our body, but um, we tend to need a little bit more support there than what we can actually get through our diet. So tryptophan is the precursor to making serotonin, which is needed to make more melatonin production. And what we find is as we age, we see a decline in both melatonin and serotonin. Serotonin may support that healthy mood. It's uh, also um, like tryptophan is a precursor to serotonin. You need more serotonin to make more melatonin. Melatonin is not only referred to as the sleep hormone, but is actually also a potent antioxidant. So L-tryptophan, and I just want to make note of the L in front of it. When you see our, our ingredients um, on our label, you will see the, the L in front of our amino acids. Um, L-tryptophan, which is an essential amino acid, it, with the L in front of it is more as a natural form. Without the L, you will see it as an, a synthetic form. So we have L-tryptophan in our products. You'll often see that L again to show that it is in natural form. So this essential amino acid, as I said, is a precursor to the manufacturing or production of serotonin. It sends a calming message between brain cells. Vitamin B6 and C are necessary for the creation of serotonin. It's necessary for the L-tryptophan conversion into serotonin. So serotonin supports sleep at night and relaxation during the day. You need adequate levels of those B vitamins like B3, B6, and B12 to assist in the conversion process, as I said, L-tryptophan to serotonin. So we find this L-tryptophan in our isotonics turn down. Now, turn down was formulated to meet the three targets of sleep, sleep quality. So the first is to be able to fall asleep, right? Some people have a difficult time when their head hits the pillow, actually falling asleep at night. The second is actually to stay asleep and to get into those deeper, uh, the deeper stages of sleep, the stage, you know, deep three and four stages of sleep. And the third target of sleep quality is actually that you wake up feeling refreshed and rejuvenated, like you actually got a good night's sleep. So turn down was formulated to address those three targets of sleep quality. It contains the key ingredients to help you quiet down your body, to relax, to promote mental clarity, and to control mental tension and support healthy sleep quality. So you'll see on the bottom of the screen there, you'll see the L-tryptophan. You need the, the B3, right? We talked about the needs for the B3, the B6, and actually um, that those assist in the conversion process from L-tryptophan to serotonin. We need zinc, we need calcium. I'm sorry, we need zinc, we need vitamin C, and we need magnesium then 
to convert the serotonin into melatonin in our body. So there's a process where we need these essential nutrients, the B vitamins, right? The magnesium, these things, that's why we refer to them as the universals or the essentials, because they have an effect in so many different pathways in the body. And as you can see here, they're necessary for the sleep pathways. So our isotonics essential turn down helps enhance and stabilize mood, may help promote calmness and relaxation, assists in releasing mental tension, promotes normal regulation of enzyme and hormone production, and of course, supports the production of serotonin and melatonin. This is a fantastic product that you can take on a daily basis for mood, for sleep, and for calmness. And it is definitely a fantastic go-to for those things for many different individuals. You take your packet, it comes 30 packets in a box. So you have a month's supply, you put it into your eight ounces of water. And when people ask, well, how, how long should I take it before bed? For most people, it's about a half hour to an hour before bedtime um, is a good time to take it if they, if they choose to take it in the evening before bed. So great product. Now, what happens when your schedule interferes, right? You're traveling, um, you know, maybe there's something that has come into your routine that's not a norm in your routine, right? Maybe you have extra stress from work um, or maybe family or people visiting and staying at your home and you're, you know, you're just stressed out or you have changes in your schedule. One of the things that we might choose to go to is our Prime Sleep Melatonin Plus product. This is a, a fantastic add to our line. It, it was actually reformulated. So it has an increase in the melatonin amount in there um, that was increased from three to 10 grams. So in addition to melatonin in this product, we have the L-tryptophan in there as well. And I already talked about the fact that L-tryptophan is commonly used to support sleep, right? It enhances the process to way the body adapts to the normal circadian rhythm. It is the precursor necessary to make serotonin, which is necessary to make more of your own natural melatonin as well. In addition, the L-theanine is in here that I talked about in our Amazing Bliss product. And I talked about the fact that L-theanine, being that amino acid found in green tea is also used for its relaxing effects. In addition to melatonin, tryptophan, and theanine, we have valerian root, which is um, shown to promote the concentration of GABA, which in turn encourages relaxation, and hops, which promote relaxation effects by inhibiting the excitatory neurotransmitters in the central nervous system that we want to decrease, right? Because that causes increased wakefulness, which we do not want when we want to go to bed at night. So sleep is made better through nature with some of these ingredients along with melatonin. These ingredients are meant for those that wanna help promote that deep, restful third and fourth stages of sleep. Those that want help to reach those last and most important stages, right? We need to get into that deep sleep that actually those stages actually help improve oxygenation throughout the body and up to the brain. And in turn, when we wake up the next day, we're more refreshed and have more energy, right? Those that want to improve the quality of the sleep, those that are looking for botanicals with the calming properties, and those that want to stabilize mood, because we talked about the fact that some of those ingredients in there do that. So who is it for? Again, for those that want promotion of sleep, relaxation, improvement in their sleep quality, those that may need help falling asleep at night and those that may need help staying asleep at night. But what I do want to mention is prime sleep is really geared for those that have occasional fragmented sleep. Those that are under, you know, increased stressful situations at that moment in time and they're having difficulty sleeping um, because of that, right? So this is a product that we don't take seven nights a week. This is a product that's recommended and, and it states on the label four nights out of the week. They can be consecutive, you can break them up, um, but it is recommended that it's not taken every night because we wanna keep our natural um, production intact. And so this is a, a go-to product 
for those that might be shift workers, as I mentioned, if you're traveling, you're not sleeping in your own bed and that affects your sleep at night, this is a great product to take with you when you travel. And just so you see here up on my screen on the, the top corner there, we actually have these amazing um, trial size packets and they are so wonderfully done with all of the literature education and information in here, there is a week's worth. So you'll find four um, prime sleep capsules in there. And so this is a great thing to think about when you are around people who are complaining that they're not getting a good night's sleep, right? They're not, be, they're not having difficulty falling asleep and staying asleep. And you can pay it forward by offering them one of these free samples to try so that they can see the benefit of our amazing prime sleep with melatonin. So what can we expect from restorative sleep? Well, mental well-being for one, I think that's pretty important. When we're not getting a good night's sleep, we have a difficult time focusing and performing tasks. So when we do get a good restorative sleep, we're more efficient at multitasking. We see an increase in our recall and memory and a rebalance within our body. So getting a good night's sleep, really mental well-being as well as physical well-being. Now, I always tell people as a rule across the board, right? We wanna eat a well-balanced diet of fresh and colorful fruits and vegetables, right? Make it part of your daily routine. And by the way, we have a new product in our daily greens. If you're not getting enough, we can add the daily greens into our daily routine as well. But I always, always practice and preach food first, right? So get a well-balanced diet of those fresh fruits and vegetables. Make sure you're eating enough lean protein. Many individuals don't eat enough protein in their day. Get in the good, healthy fats, right? You know, the um, avocados and the olive oil and coconut oils and nuts and things like that, right? Really important to have enough fat in our diet because fats help us make, feel, make us feel more full and satiated as well. And if you're eating grains, you wanna eat 100% whole grains. You wanna avoid those refined carbohydrates. You wanna avoid the sugars and the processed foods, right? And eat good healthy foods, shop the perimeter, of the supermarket, specifically the foods that don't have labels on it with ingredients, right? When you buy broccoli, there is no ingredient label because it's broccoli. So those are the things that you wanna do. Again, avoid the processed and sugar foods and the, the trans fats. Make sure that you're including the vitamins, the minerals and the botanicals that could support the body, support the body system, and especially those that contribute to a better night's sleep, because we know that sleep deficiency can take a toll on both the body and the mind. So you wanna eat smarter, you wanna make sure you exercise, right? You wanna do some cardio, you wanna do some strength training, you wanna do some high intensity interval training, again, depending on your own personal fitness level. And I always recommend that you can speak to your health professional for guidance there, right? You wanna make sure that you manage your stress, that you sleep better and you live a healthier life. So take a break from those stressors, get some exercise. Sex can be a good exercise too, by the way. You wanna make sure you're smiling and laughing, You know, hang out with some good friends, get some extra social support. Again, find some techniques that you can do, meditation, yoga, deep breathing, learn how to say no. That was something I had a lot of difficulty with. I've gotten better in certain realms of my life. Not great in others, but better, better in certain places, right? You wanna drink enough water that help, actually helps to manage your cortisol levels. We talked about eating well. I always recommend our amazing TLS lifestyle, eating low glycemic. I think it just makes sense. And again, su supplement your body with those adaptogens, with those vitamins, minerals, and other essential nutrients that we need to support a healthy stress response and to get a good night's sleep. So I just wanna wrap up with some additional tips that will hopefully help improve your sleep hygiene, right? I talked about when I first started going to bed at the same time and waking up at the same time every day. 
getting exposure to the bright sunlight throughout the morning and throughout the day. And then as we get into the evening, you want to start to eliminate, you know, the blue light, the electronics, you want to turn the lights down, you want to turn the temperature down. I mentioned removing the TV from your bedroom, reserve the bed for sleeping and for sex. You want to limit the eat, eating and the drinking before you go to bed at night, with the exception, of course, of taking your supplements, right? And you want to um, also try and relax and clear your mind. Practice those relaxation techniques, those deep breathing. You know, take the melatonin supplement on an as-needed basis, and then start a complete nutritional supplement program that can help maintain proper health. And when we're talking about sleep, the supplements that you might want to consider including on your occasional basis is your prime sleep with melatonin, but on your consistent basis is your isotonics essential turn down, your isotonics magnesium, your bliss, and your cannabiquin as well. So these things are just some tips that can help you get a better night's sleep. I want to thank you so much for joining me here today for our Lunch and Learn on our topic of sleep for Sleep Awareness Month for the month of March. Again, thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again with more information. In the meantime, live a healthy lifestyle, take some baby steps each day. And the first thing to start with is to get a good night sleep. Again, I want to thank you so much for joining me here today. I look forward to coming back to you with the next topic for next month. Thanks so much. Be healthy and get a good night's sleep.